Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new ColourPop foundation. I am super excited to be reviewing this foundation because a lot of you guys tagged me and you guys were really, really ready for me to try it. Um, I actually had to buy, I actually bought it, so I just got it sometime this week, but pretty sure most of you guys know that I've been off of makeup for an entire week because of my brows and I got them, I got them microbladed and Unfortunately, I think we're losing them. I will film a full like microblading update and everything like that, but um, today I'm gonna be reviewing foundation and I'm really excited about it. It's a new ColourPop no filter foundation. ColourPop came out with 42 shades of this foundation. I have the last one here, which is the Deep Dark 215, which is this shade right here. Originally when I got this bottle, I was just like, Oh no, but I've seen lighter blend out better, but this is supposed to be a really full coverage and full coverage that's too light it just doesn't work. If it's a little too light, it's better when it's a little bit more sheer coverage, but yeah, we'll see. I already swatched this on my hand and it looks pretty good so far. So we'll see how that looks. And then I also got the no filter setting powder. I got the medium deep because I know a lot of you guys are gonna want to see what this looks like. Um, on my skin tone and then I also got the translucent because I normally gravitate more towards translucent powders than a colored powder underneath my eyes but I'm gonna try both and see what that looks like and then I got the no filter sheer pressed powder which is this one right here in I got it in the dark one yeah I got it in this shade right here which is deep dark so I'm not sure about this one but we will see um, I'm not gonna make any assumptions. I'm just gonna see what it looks like on my face. And then I'm gonna also be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Rich 75. I completely forgot to pick up the new one. There was one after Rich 75 that they added to the extension of this concealer, but I completely forgot to pick it up, but it's okay because Rich 75 is a decent enough concealer for me to use underneath my eyes. And I can always, I'm gonna um, mix it with the foundation just to make it a little bit deeper because that was my only, um, issue with the concealer. So I'm gonna first start off by priming my face. I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've been using this Beauty Bakery Priming Oil recently, but I think I finally got my skin in order. It was just really, really dry and it just didn't have time for anything matte. So now I think I got it balanced back to where it normally is. It's normal amount of dryness, nothing, not as excessive as it's been. And I'm happy about that. So I can go back to using different kinds of primers instead of just oil-based primers or oil primers. All right, I'm gonna rub that in. I'm getting a really late start, but I know I'm gonna have a really late night, so it's okay. Um, I'm taking my sister's go-karting and I have just a few more things to get done today before I come and do my check-in. I'm probably gonna be doing a check-in around like one or two. I think the foundation is $7. Please be $7, I'm not quite sure. I'll have the price of the foundation somewhere around here. Don't play as Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery. <laughs> Don't play as ColourPop. When I swatched it, it looked fine, so. This is super full coverage, actually. This is actually really, really, really full covered. So hopefully I'm not using too much. This is really red. <laughs> oh, no. I'm supposed to be snatched today, okay? This is my first time wearing makeup in like a week. I need to be snatched. I don't need to be looking crazy. You guys see what I'm talking about? It looks pretty red. I mean, I typically have red undertones but I wasn't expecting it to look this red. Off camera, I feel like I look like I have a mask on. Like. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna finish it. Maybe it's just how it's looking right now. It looks like it could pass for a decent match to my chest, um, but in real life right now, it's, a little lighter than my chest just a little bit not in real life i mean like off camera and hopefully it kind of like chills out or 
settles into the skin a little bit better. We'll see. I hope. But the finish. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it kind of like mellows out and calms down. It looks really good on camera. Like really good. Okay. I think I'm gonna do my eyes really quickly off camera. I just quickly did my eyes off camera. I feel like I did the most. I did a little bit more than I'm used to. We're just gonna speed right along to concealer. I do feel like the foundation is settling in just a little bit right now, so that's good. So I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade 75, and I'm just gonna use a little bit because I know this concealer is a little lighter than I normally like to go for. Like I'm gonna look just a lot lighter. So I'm going to use the medium deep on one side and then the translucent on the other side and then I'm gonna try and even them out if they look super, super different. This is the translucent. I'm very picky about my powders, so I honestly wasn't expecting much from the powder. It's not bad, but I do feel like I'm starting to look dry underneath the eyes. All right, let's try and see what medium deep looks like. This is what medium deep looks like in this dish. Hopefully it's not crazy. Please let me. Okay, I'm gonna go very light. Maybe because I went so light, but the medium deep one isn't looking as dry underneath my eyes. But let's see, let me add just a little bit more. I need some setting spray in my life. I think I like the medium deep side better, which is surprising. Just considering how powdery I look already and I don't want to ruin the look, I probably won't use the other powder to set my entire face. Although I feel like this, can, this foundation isn't really setting on its own, it still feels pretty tacky and pretty sticky. I don't know, something t is telling me not to finish with the powder. So I'm gonna switch over to my hourglass powder just for the rest of my face. Because I wanna give the foundation and concealer a fair chance and I don't wanna ruin it by not liking the powder. But I'm gonna see what this powder looks like just on my jawline. I, ooh, nah. I'm gonna set it with the RCMA. Do you guys see what's going on over here? Oh no. I think it lists. Hey guys, so I am outside. It's a little later in the evening, so that's why it's not looking as bright, but it's still some sort of natural light and not the studio light, so I figured I wanted to do it anyways. Shout out to Tony for getting me a new lens. You guys aren't so close to my face with my old lens. This is a much wider shot with my vlogging camera. So this is what the foundation is looking like right now during the day. Like I said, the finish on this foundation is stunning. So good, but I'm not sure how I feel about the match. Um, it's looking like it's a little bit lighter. I'm a little bit lighter in the face than um, than on my chest. So we'll we'll see. I'm not sure how I feel about this match. Hopefully, kind of adjust throughout the day. Alrighty, guys. So I am back. It is pretty much the end of the night. I think it's almost one o'clock, one a.m. right now. So I'm gonna be wrapping this up as fast. There is some transfer right here underneath my eyes. Um, I pretty much spent the night with my sisters and we went to this um, amusement slash go-kart place and we were just laughing the entire time and my eyes water when I laugh, so I, yeah, it was bad, but it was good. We had such a good time. It looks pretty good still, um, considering being in the heat and the humidity, it was like 80 degrees outside. It looks pretty good for like sweating purposes, especially like around my T-zone area, like my forehead and um, 
my nose it still looks really really good if you guys can see how i got a little bit of lifting around here let's get a little creasing around my laugh lines and underneath my eyes i have those little lines oh wow with this new camera you guys can really see it now <laughs> i got it settling in there but like i said that's nothing new really oh, i just touched my face again so this foundation is not transfer proof <laughs> it does come off if you touch it match wise it's a little lighter than my chest not by much but just a tad bit lighter than my chest it wouldn't be something that i wouldn't be like oh i can't wear this no definitely not but it was just a little lighter um and it is pretty full coverage so since it's a little bit lighter and it's full coverage i was telling you guys it made it look like i was wearing a mask um so i would definitely want to use something to share out this foundation so that it wouldn't feel so masky on my face it's not heavy but i feel it but it's not heavy it's not like an uncomfortable like situation but i do feel like i feel like i have makeup on my face the finish on it is beautiful um i do wish it was just slightly deeper color prop did good 42 shades is bomb um so the setting setting powders i actually didn't like the translucent i love translucent powders um, I'd rather use a translucent over a colored powder under my eyes any day But with this formula and this this specific powder I actually like the medium deep more than I like the translucent It looked a little bit less dry and cakey underneath the eyes this powder right here I definitely would not use again. It's just a little too ashy for me um, The foundation doesn't set itself. It has like still has that tacky feeling which I just don't like i'd rather have it dry down i think that's all i have for this video thank you guys so much for being patient i know it took me a hot second to kind of get this review out like i said if i don't ever get anything in pr i will always buy it and i will always review it for you guys if you want it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching lots of love and i'll see you guys next time